ang buhay. Uh, sa ating i-discuss ngayon ang uh, material na galing sa kay uh, Ryborn and Kini how he viewed um, introduction to cost management system uh, before ano yun na discuss na natin we had an introduction to strategic cost management then we'll go to cost management system because uh, this is the first step for you to be able to understand better the strategic cost management uh, and so let's see the details of and take note that it introduces management control system in our uh, discussion uh, dalawa yung sinabi natin, no? Cost accounting. Diba? At saka, operational control system na tatawagin din nating management control system. Okay? So, that's uh, constitute your uh, cost management system. So, you know already what a cost management is. We started with the role, No? Uh, we look into the design and the elements no, of the cost management system from the perspective of Kini. No? So, let's compare and discuss. This we are already familiar of, right? The relationship of cost accounting. Uh, so, if we are in a triangle... This is your cost accounting and financial accounting and managerial accounting. So, ano na nga ba yung differences nila? At ano yung similarity? Okay? That will serve as your experience point. Okay? Let's see if uh, you were able to differentiate it. You have to compare and contrast. No? Uh, kasi importante ang relasyon, di ba? Di ka naman makaka-move forward pag hindi mo alam yung estado mo kung kung sino ka, ano ka. O eto, yan yung sinabi nilang uh, dahilan. Isa sa mga dahilan, no? Uh, so, I will, I'll be waiting for your uh, the, the answer as to the Similarities and differences. No? Let's see if you were able to highlight this one. Then, uh, look at the information flow. What have you noticed with the information flow? It relates to the management function, which will be our focus. You have planning, controlling, and decision-making. What did you notice with the arrow key? O, tingnan nyo yung arrow key. Diba? O, ayan yung arrow key. O, up and down. Kasi, this would be related to responsibility and accountability. Responsibility is going down and accountability is going up. Why is that so? Because when you talk about responsibility, this is being assigned by those who are in power. While accountability is inherent with the responsibility that you have assumed. And why at the bottom you have the performance? No? If the first three items form part of, of your functions, okay, why performance? Because once you make the decision, you have to act on it. And the indicators of whether you have been effective or efficient will be Performance. Kaya you have your KPI. Key Performance Indicator. Okay? So, you have to define this. That would be your uh, next question. Now, why we have this uh, information flow? Okay? Why, why do we need to discuss this information flow? Kasi... Ito, ano itong mga to This would be external. No? 
uh, factors that uh, not factors but entities that uh, are somehow affecting the organization government will be the regulator at the same time partner supplier will be looking at uh, in terms of funds in terms of goods creditor will be more so on funds client will be the one who would be actually our lifeblood because no client no exchanges no kahit may creditor kahit may supplier wala namang may gusto ng produkto mo di ba so yan ito yung lifeblood nyo and why competition because with competition it it makes uh, our life better talaga ba bakit eh kasi this create uh, more activity in the economy if there's more activity then uh, we'll, we're going to be better off although it's uh, it's not easy but remember uh, talagang ganun eh we have to sacrifice and why intelligence because you need to gather information to better serve these stakeholders of yours okay sila ay tinatawag nating stakeholders and inherent with you're gathering the information the intelligence no you you have to now provide communication but ganon but we provide ng communication kasi sa client you need to know the demand di ba you need to know the need as a supplier ganun din naman you need to know the demand ganun din ang creditor so ay ganun pala ma'am no puro demand pala yung perspective nito mga to ayo naman kasi ikaw yung ikaw yung magsasatisfy para makapag-compete ka or para mag-progress ka as an organization okay now o oh, eto na yung management control system uh, what is uh, the reason that uh, we are looking into the management control system in in uh, cost accounting ano sa tingin niyo iisip niyo ba tsaka ano na nga ba tawag diyan sa atin ano ang tawag niyo na diyan ang tawag niyo diyan ay di ba pwede ding operational siya eh, ano ba importansya ng uh, management uh, control system? Nakikita nyo ba? Nababasa nyo ba? Eh, sabi lang dito, ito nag implement daw ng strategic and operating plans. Ha? Bakit ganun? Uh, kasi siya yung nag steer ng organization para nang sa ganun ay it can move towards what uh, the achievement of the goal and be uh, be able to uh, have the competitive advantage kasi ito yung tools natin no tools ni no ni manager para saan sa pag-implement ng desired strategies kasi yun nga, implement strategic and operating plan. Kung tool pala siya, de, ibig sabihin, kailangan maging formal. ba? Diba? At kailangan yung information-based routine mo ay uh, well systematized. Kasi sabi nito, oh, provide means for comparison of actual and plan. Ano to? Saan to magpo-focus? sa control mechanism. Kasi ayan no comparison, so nagmo-monitor ka. No? E dahil it requires judgment, then it has to be systematic. And in a way, you you have to have a basis. Hindi hindi basta nang huhula ka lang. 'Di ba? Eh kung ganun pala, paano gagawin ko para maging Uh, systematic ito no eh nang ito ay uh, 
maging systematic, dapat you have to have extensive measurement. No? Extensive measurement of what? Aba, eh, yung extensive measurement mo ay uh, doon sa mga activities mo from coordination, uh, resource allocation, no? as well as performance measurement. Okay? Ano pa? Bakit uh, um, kailangan ko pa siyang tingnan? O ito daw siya. Detector. Assessor. Effector. Communications Network. But kailangan nating malaman to? Kasi kailangan na, if, if you're looking at information system, make sure na meron yung bawat isa na to. Ha? Paano yung gagawin natin, ma'am, dyan? Paano namin siya maiintindihan? Diba? Eh, ano ba ibig sabihin ng, uh, ng uh, detector? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng uh, assessor, ng effector? Mukhang mahirap to, ah. No? Parang napaka-generic naman. Diba? Kayo, sa tingin nyo, madali ba to? Eh, pagbago, syempre, nakaka, nakakalito. Diba? Ba't naman kasi ganyan rin pa sinabi, ano? Detector. Eh, ano lang yan, parang isipin nyo lang na um, ano ba yung mga elements na kailangan para maging uh, uh, good ang control system natin. O, tingnan nga natin. Kasi may mga naka-ano naman, eh, oh, naka-highlight na sa inyo. O, di tingnan natin kung para saan siya. Ayan, o. Oh. Bakit may control device? Tapos, entity. Ikaw to, di ba? Ito yung what? O. Oh. Eh, ano ang role nitong mga to? Kasi ano yan? Yung detector. Kasi ito o oh, control device. Di ba sa control, ah, babalik tayo dun sa component. Preventive, detective, corrective, tsaka feedback. Ah, uh, Parang ito, nandito yan. Diba? Kasi ito yung parang sa accounting, ito yung magre-recognize ka ng transaction. Alamin mo yung effect. Ngayon, uh, pag nag-determine ka na, ano naman to? Ano yung uh, magiging impact niya sa fin financial ano mo, resources mo? Eh, ba't may assessor? Kasi this would factor in the feedback element. Dapat, mala, yung bang ginawa mo, no? dito from point 1 to point 2, ano nangyari dito sa point 3? Diba? Hmm. Tingnan nyo yung, yung mga sample. O, kita nyo, class. Ang detector source document, eh kasi nga, magre-recognize ka. Kita nyo ang assessor o comparison. Kasi nga, feedback element siya. ba? Diba? Nang, nang, nang control. Tapos, yung effector, kita nyo o variance. Parang, uh, ito comparison din naman. Kaya lang, uh, kasi pag sinabi mong variance, actual din to versus standard. ba? Diba? Eh, but effector, kasi mas uh, makikita natin So, itong, itong assessor effector, directly related siya. ba? Diba? Dahil ina-assess mo yung magiging epekto ng mga desisyon na ginawa mo dati. No? Ang kaibahan sa effector, eh, meron ng output. Nagko-communicate ka. Ang assessor process to. Ang detector, input. ba? Diba? Mm. Yan. Eh, apat yan eh. Ano yung, ano yung nawala? May nawala ba? Eh, yung effector, isinama na dito sa communication. ba diba? 
at yung kumbaga ano na siya uh, lahat kasi ito interrelated no oh yan laro tayo doon o ni remind uli kayo sa cost management system no pero dito ang sinabi part siya ng management information system so dahil sinabi yung management information system let me uh, kasi ini start ko sa AIS actually andito yung MIS papasok sa AIS tapos pupunta dito sa CMS okay uh, kaya kaya ang sinabi ng author ay part of MIS kasi nga uh, Abe, may salitang management, no? But management information system is much broader than accounting information system of which uh, your cost management system is part of. Okay? Um, bakit? Uh, binigyan kayo ng comparison para you would be able to differentiate yung yung focus niya. Class importante kasi alam niyo yung focus. Okay? Eh, parehas mo ma natin yung matitake up. Yeah, parehas natin matitake up yan yung short run at saka yung long run niya na uh, concern. Okay? And, uh, eto yan. Ba't may ganitong diagram? Para saan to? Tingnan nyo yung inner circle niya. Yung product costing. No? Ang product costing, isa yan sa mga i-discuss natin. Okay? Ang pricing sa managerial nyo to, matitake up. Quality assurance, titake up natin. Procurement, partly, pag dinidiscuss yung material costing, natitake up yan. Pero to sa cost accounting yan at saka sa operation management. Inventory partly matitake up natin. Pero ito na sa operation management, no? And, and uh, sa mass, sa managerial accounting nyo. And product development, partly matidiscuss to sa capital budgeting, no? But uh, this is more related to uh, in your in your mass marketing and distribution. Par uh, partly, ma discuss no, but uh, be because it's more related to pricing. Okay, so manufacturing processes. Ayan, we discuss din natin dito yan. No, and and all the others the yung nasa uh, outside of the diagram these are the factors entities affecting the cost management system okay bakit nakakaapekto eh una employee they are the heart of any organization ay pag wala ka eh, may hirapan kang mag-progress pag walang tao, walang people. And technology is um, one resource that uh, would help us to be efficient. Investors and creditor will provide funds for us. The business environment would is, is uh, the facilitator. No? And of course, your customer is the most crucial. Uh, Without them, we won't exist. Then, your political environment, peace is important. Um, legal and ethical consideration in the... You cannot be world-class organization if you won't look into the legal and ethical consideration. As well as your environmental and social responsibility issues. And of course, competition. No? Um, kapag ka hindi mo to kinonsider, eh, mamamatay ka bilang isang negosyo. For the meantime, let me stop at this point. We will continue the, the discussion of the PowerPoint. Just feel free to ask any question. No? Thank you and good day.